I was frustrated. For the last few weeks, I've been so frustrated and so angry. I am not getting what I paid for. You are not delivering on promise, so I'm canceling. So I'm telling you right now, not another cent is coming your way. Okay, and now we're gonna jump into the second conversation I had, which I think is also really useful, right? So this is in the case of I'd hired a team to help with you know, my funnel sales, funnel building and things like that, Facebook ads campaigns and stuff. And we're at month three now and they've been grossly underperforming, grossly underperforming. I've tried to be patient. I've tried to, you know, I understand there's always a risk when we invest in things like this. Thankfully, my experience coupled with my natural instincts, you know, my gut instincts came together to, to basically make me decide that I'm letting these people go. I was frustrated for the last few weeks. I've been so frustrated and so angry. And every team conversation we got on, I could just feel the, the negativity coming off me because things weren't changing. The, promise that was delivered was basically they would formulate a strategy and implement that strategy. The strategy is mine. I'm still doing a lot of the work myself. In fact, it's been two weeks since, you know, we've had a campaign running because they take too long with everything. So yesterday I decided I'm just going to jump in, create my own Facebook ad campaign. I did that, started my first campaign there. And then I came back and I went, yeah, this isn't a knee jerk reaction. This is me basically saying, why am I investing thousands and thousands of dollars with you every month when I can do this myself and get a better result? And just a quick example, like their lead cost was $68. I, two leads yesterday, I spent $11 and, and had two leads. So that's $5.50 a lead. I took them on because they promised the world, like a lot of people do, you know, they always cover their ass like most people do. We can't guarantee results. And it's like, of course not. But you don't expect to go backwards. You don't expect to waste thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and months and months and months and end up with something like 26 leads or something like that. It just wasn't working for me. I'd signed a contract for six months. I am not getting what I paid for. You are not delivering on promise. So I'm canceling and I'm seeking some compensation for the time and energy lost. Rolling out the whole, you know, you sign an agreement, there is never any guarantee and all the rest of it, right? And it's like, you're right. And if we wanted to follow the letter of the law, you would be correct. There is no guarantee. I said, but let's be real here. Let's think about you be me for a moment. I've invested in you based on all of the promises that you made, based on all of the, you know, the pitch was very, very slick. So that was all great, right? And now here we are at month three and these are the things that are happening. How would you feel? How would you feel in my situation? I don't give a shit what I signed. You're not delivering on promise. You're not doing a good job and you're tr making excuses and you're trying to make me wrong when at the end of the day, you're not doing what you said you would do. I said, so let's negotiate a way out of this because I'm telling you right now, not another cent is coming your way. And it comes back to expecting what I would expect my clients to expect. I'm a woman of integrity. I am a woman of my word. And if I say I'm gonna do something for you, I do it. That is the relationship that we go into. I stand by my word. I just am not willing to tolerate anything less than I would produce for my clients. Things happen for sure, right? It's not a perfect world where we have these perfectly executed strategies every single time, but people always get the value, right? There is always the value. I'm not willing to tolerate anything less than I would produce for my clients. And for me, that's an integrity issue. It's a boundary issue. I don't work with people who don't honor their word. decision to just end the contract and just do it myself was so strong. It was a reaction that was based on weeks of me going, you know, give them time. These things take time. And then, you know, slapping myself around the face going, come on, you've been doing this long enough to know that this is not a good result, that the pace with, wi with which they are getting things happening is too slow for you. Like if the fact that you can go and build out a whole funnel and get an ad campaign running in less than three hours and it's taken them two and a half weeks, 
is saying something, right? Felt like a really easy decision. Um, Once I made the decision, it was easy. The fallout will be there. I'll have to continue to have conversations that I really don't have time and energy for, but it's like, it's the right thing to do. When you're working with suppliers and things like that, trust your instincts. If things aren't going the way that you want, even if you're not an expert, like I'm not a Facebook ads expert by any stretch, right? But I know enough and I've done it before and I knew I had better results before. So I had to just figure out what's the right decision here? What? Why is this not sitting well for me? They're not doing what they said they were going to do. And there's no amount of painting over the cracks that is going to make that okay for me. And so again with you, look at the suppliers that you have, if you have any, and ask yourself, are they are they doing what they said they would do? It doesn't have to be emotional. It doesn't have to be personal. It's just, this is the line that I put in the sand and you are not supposed to cross this and you crossed it. So let's have a conversation about it and let's just figure this out. It's not, you know, making people wrong or, you know, having them be in trouble with you, but it's more about, come on, you know, boundaries are here for a reason. Let's have a conversation about this. Anyway, go have yourself some tough conversations this week. They might feel awkward, but they are also going to feel really, really right. I promise you. Um, I will see you next week and I would love to hear your thoughts um, in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. All right. Bye for now and I'll see you next week.